Phew. It has been chaotic to get here this afternoon. I worked night shift, overslept, got up late. We got halfway to the lake, forgot the life jackets had to turn and go back. And now we have finally made it back to the boat ramp and we're about to back the boat down. And uh, we're gonna run across the lake to a campsite that I scouted in my last video and then uh, set up camp and try to do some catfishing tonight. All right, so we made it to the island. <laughs> I was talking about my afternoon being chaotic and to add insult to injury, I backed the boat down the ramp docked it, parked the car, came back, and the biggest rookie mistake you can make, I left the drain plug out. And <laughs> what's so funny about that is I even have a sticker right there on the middle bunk. Note to self, drain plug. And uh, I still forgot. So the first 10 minutes after offloading the boat into the water was spent running the bilge pump, pumping all the water out. Still pretty much the same as when I was here last week. This board actually is in the same exact spot. I put this board here uh, as a place to launch my drone straight up through the trees. Um, one of the things that, one of the first things we're gonna do is we're gonna get this area cleaned up. There's trash, um, just like I showed in my last video. Um, trash all in the fire pit, trash all over here. People just, I guess, dump and leave their trash when they take off out of here. We ended up getting almost an entire trash bag full of trash that was just scattered all over the island. We also got the hammock strung up. Now, this isn't 100% ideal uh, for me. Um, pretty long stretch here. I did lay in it already and it works, but it's what we're working with, so it's what we're gonna do. Um, we also stacked up this firewood that was scattered all over everywhere and just kind of got it laid out so that it's all nice and neat up in here. Uh, we did not bring dinner to cook. We actually ate it on the way, um, or I did. Thor has a, a sub sandwich to eat for dinner. So we're not gonna be cooking dinner or anything like that. In the morning, I'm gonna cook breakfast, but I think the plan now is is to get back on the boat and maybe hit some of these smaller coves that are around the island here um, and see if we can't find some down trees or something like that. I stopped and got some bait. So we're gonna see if we can catch some cat, uh, some little bluegills or brim to use for cut bait and then put out some catfish jugs, um, probably right around dark. Out doing a little exploring, ran up into the cove found this trail looks like we might have ran up on somebody's bushcraft shelter up on the creek up here friendly coming in just doing some exploring found your area Watch where you step, Thor. Okay. I'm just following you behind you. Is there a house back here? It's a bushcraft shelter. Oh. Yeah, looks like what they've done is just literally driven around the lake and gathered stuff off the banks that's washed up and used it to create a little shelter area. I mean, that's a paddle, old paddle blade. They've turned into like a machete. There's an old cooler and trash can, old milk crate. And you can see where they've used different pieces of driftwood and stair beams. Actually really ingenuitive. Interesting. It's kind of cool. Got some bobber poles out. 
with uh, some night crawlers. See if we can catch any brim up in these up in this timber stand. Maybe we can catch some cut bait. If not, we're gonna throw some dough, garlic dough balls on the catfish jugs and uh, put them out before we head back over to camp. So stay tuned. Just uh, threw out the first jug here, and Thor's trying to get the rest of the string out of the boat. It's so fast. But I got a pretty heavy sinker on that guy, so it shouldn't take long for it to sink on down. You kind of see it floating around there. So that's about a that's about 40 feet deep on the end of that hook. We're sitting at. 197 between 97 and 102 it's saying so now we're gonna maybe run around the other side of the island and put another one out over there in that cove it's a little bit shallower back at camp um i'm just laid in the hammock right now going through some footage uh thor needed to eat he has a type 1 diabetic so his, his sugar started being funky so we got out two jugs and come back across to the island and he's been eating and getting his insulin and everything uh done correctly he just walked off down the bank to look in the water at some of the bait fish swimming around by the boat but y'all gotta check out this view. Give me a second to get over there by the end of the island. Got a nice full bright moon tonight with a clear sky. It is absolutely beautiful. Since the sun went down, the temperature's cooled way off. It's probably mid 60s, actually put on a hoodie. And there are no boats on the lake this far up. It's been quiet. Got camp going on back over here. These little, my little solar generator and these little rope lights work out perfect to light this little area up. Hasn't drawn in very many bugs. So we're going to be going back out on the water here in uh, about another hour or so, 45 minutes, to check the two jugs we put out and maybe, be, maybe depending on what Thor wants to do, put out the other jugs. Uh, when I'm set out overnight. I don't know. I don't look like it's moving too much, does it? Don't pull it all the way up. Let's just see what's on the end first. If the bait's still there or not. All right, so there's jug number one checked with the bait still on. So we'll go run across and check the other one. harder to see with the interior lights on and the light bar at the same time so with the interior lights off I can kind of see a little better I need to adjust that light bar a little more but looks like our looks like it's moved way over so it's good potential there might be something on it although earlier the wind was blowing it pretty hard so we'll see 
we put this jug out over here in the cove earlier and it's way over here on the side now doesn't seem to be moving at the moment but Like something's on there. Slow. When I first picked it up, it felt like something was on there. When it got, like it felt like it broke off. Might have been hung on the bottom. I bet you it's pretty shallow over here by this bank. Yeah, it's only 15 feet here. So it blew up in there and then it was too long. So it's probably hung on the bottom. We'll come over here and re do the bait on it and set it out back here in the cove again where it's deep. All right, we've put out our fourth jug here. Um, it's just floating by the boat. We ran up into a cove down the lake. Now we're gonna run back up past the island and put one out way further up the island on the other side of the island going up into towards the Kusawati River. And that'll be the last one for the night and then we'll head back. I think I'm gonna string up the catfish pole and catch a crawfish and put a crawfish on there and put it out see if we can get any hits and then off to bed. All right, managed to catch some little bait fish. So we're gonna string this sucker up onto a pole right here off the bank about 20 yards out there it drops off to about 100 feet so we're gonna put him on a bass hook and a good sinker and just see what see what we can make happen all right so we got the bait pull out and then decided to go for a walk around the island here and i have found a fishing pole, That's a good fishing pole. laying here don't know if it's any good Looks like it's most definitely tangled. It's a collapsible pole. It might be savageable. We'll take it and put it up at the camp and mess with it in the daylight when we can see it, but maybe run some new string on it. Looks like it got hung up and just a couple weeks ago, this was underwater. So maybe it was just here hung underwater. Okay, so I completely forgot to record, but we actually ended up catching a crawfish. So I've got that sucker on that pole out yonder. And then I've got this guy over here tied up with the bait fish on. So at this point, we have five catfish jugs out all around this body of lake up here and two poles off the bank. So we're gonna let these be and maybe even head off the bed. What do you think about breakfast, kiddo? It was good. So you see where he's standing last night in the video or in some of the segments from last night, you could see us walking along down in there. That's where we were catching bait fish and crawfish. That fishing pole and my net and the other fishing pole here were all underwater this morning and the boat had moved over. And Carter's Lake does this weird thing where apparently it goes down and it raises and it goes down and it raises. I don't know. I've been up here a few times in the last week or week and a half. And one time I come, the water's way high. The next time I come, it's like 10 feet down. Then I come back now and it's 
uh, risen overnight. It's wild. Thor is just loading the last bit of gear that I brought to him on the boat. <clears throat> We're going to do a walkthrough real quick and see, make sure we got everything. I like to do that after packing up. Looks like uh, we're all cleaned up over here. Oh uh, yeah, there's that fishing rod I found last night down there <clears throat> where the water is now at. But uh, always leave it better than you found it. And this is better than we found it, so. Rolling up into jug check number one. Well, nothing on jug check number one. Took the bait. Store's gonna go ahead and wrap it up. And he gets done wrapping it up. We'll blast all the way back across the lake to the second jug. I think that one might have one. See how it's pointed straight up and down? Yeah, maybe not. It's probably just hung on bottom because it's 31 feet. I didn't even consider that. Yup, bait's gone. So either the wind blew it or something actually had a hold of it and drug it all the way, probably quarter quarter mile down lake. All right, well, he's gonna wrap this one up and then we'll be on our way all the way across the cove to pick up the third one. all right well that sucker must be hung up on the bottom pretty good no bait. no bait all right well that's uh <laughs> three for three no catch that's how it goes sometimes Yeah? What do we got? A tree. <laughs> well, tree fish is better than no fish. <laughs> All right. Well, there's number four. And uh, no real fish. So on to number five. All right. So we we're trying to find our fifth jug that we put out and it has disappeared um, we put it out way up lake by that point up there there's a cove and we ran up in there and it wasn't there and so i pulled up my track from last night and that's where i have it marked as being in that cove but it's not there it's gone so we've come down the bank probably quarter to half a mile and there's just no no sign of it now this morning at camp i seen a boat a center console parked down here before he ran up around the island and i'm wondering if maybe he didn't stop and grab it if he did it's got my name and number on it and it says catfish jug clearly so maybe if he did stop and pick it up he'll give me a call or text me or something i really don't like the idea of just leaving the jug floating around on the lake, but it, it's not, it's not here. We're gonna keep looking before we jet out of here, but I'm not gonna give it too much more effort. Somebody's old boat flag flew off. I'm gonna try to grab it up here. All right, we got us a flag. Somebody lost. I don't know how we're gonna attach it to the boat, but we got it. Another 
sure did find the catfish jug. We made like six, seven passes up and down the bank, all around the cove, up above it, down below it. Only thing I can figure is somebody grabbed it. That, that's fine. My name's on it. Um, I'd like it back. I mean, it's just a milk jug. It's not a big deal, but. So we ran on down the lake. I wanted to do a little bit of exploring before we head back to the ramp. And we found this really nice cove. It gets real shallow. It's about a foot and a half or so. It's re reading two feet on the finder right now. We went all the way back up in there, ran the jack plate up and the trim, got up in there as far as I could. But uh, we're gonna mosey on back out of the cove and see if we can find another cool cove. Yeah. Gonna try something new today. I've not done this yet. Try to drive this boat up onto that trailer. Usually, I just hand line it on and off. That's the easiest, but I don't know. I'm feeling a little confident today for some reason. So we're gonna try to run it up on there. I don't know if I'll be able to film the entire thing, but we're gonna try. better than I anticipated. So that's kind of cool. Well, that is a wrap. We got skunked on fishing, both with pole and jug, but it happens and we'll do it again. But we got to enjoy a nice cool night of camping, clear skies, full moon, and we did some couple hours of exploring this morning. So all in all, it's a great trip. We'll be back to do it again. Catch you on the next one.